Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to talk about the importance of omega-3s and I'm applying this video particularly to many of those people worldwide who are more on the vegetarian end uh, who do not eat uh, fish or dairy but primarily um, plants, foods grown from the soil. Now I want to talk a little bit about the conversion of making sure you're getting enough omega-3 from the foods that you're eating. So let's go uh, a little bit into uh, this where we're going to start out primarily talking about flaxseed. Why? Because flaxseeds are the richest commercial source of plant-based omega-3 fatty acids on the planet. The prominent omega-3 in flaxseed oil is alpha linolenic acid, ALA. Now, ALA is the parent compound of omega-3 and can be converted by enzymes into the longer chain omega-3 fatty acids, which are the EPA and the DHA. The EPA is eicosa pentanoic acid and DHA is tocosa hexanoic acid. Uh, if we look right here, the purpose of this is that by looking at this, these are longer chains when we're looking at the DHA and the EPA. And from the conversion, most of the foods that we eat, particularly when we talk about uh, omega-3 fatty acids, are basically fish oils. Fish oil is our greatest source of omega-3 fatty acids on the planet. Uh, unfortunately, it does not have a lot of vitamin A or vitamin D. On the other hand, cod liver oil is lower in omega-3s, but has a higher amount of vitamin A and vitamin D. Uh, the form of ALA that we're talking about, particularly in vegetarians or plant-based diets, uh, are the vegetable oils, the flax seeds, the chia seeds, the walnuts, the dark leafy vegetables like kale and spinach, which your body uh, can change these amounts, which we're just going to talk about in just a second. Uh, but when we're talking about the plain omega-3s, we're looking mainly at the dairy foods, the salmon, the fatty fishes, those particularly have the omega-3s already in it, which are the DHAs and the EPAs. Uh, the important thing that I wanted to mention, uh, let's go over to, uh, let's see here, I'll come back to this in just a second. Let's go to this area here. Uh, when we're looking at the DHA and ALA, you can see uh, the the different combination of foods where it comes from. And if you look at the omega-60s, these are primary oils that we cook with. Now, the, the purpose of mentioning this is that when we go through the conversion of ALA into uh, DHA or e EPA, uh, we are only getting a certain amount of percentage getting to those omega-3s. Uh, the question is how much are we really getting? Now, these rates vary from gender, age, genetic factors. Women are more efficient in converting ALA into EP and DHA because the estrogens support the conversion enzymes. The human conversion, uh, let's go over here. The human conversion uh, of ALA into EPA ranges from about 8% to 20%. Uh, the conversion of ALA to DHA ranges from 1% 1, 1 to 9%. So when we're talking about the, we'll come back to this, we're talking about the flaxseed. Um, one tablespoon of fat flaxseed oil per 100 pounds of body weight is recommended, uh, is recommended the daily dose. And to maintain general cardiovascular uh, health, we need about 1,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA combined. Uh, it's very important, and I would always say it's one gram. That's that's the minimum. We can go up to 3,000 milligrams or three grams. Now, when we look at this conversion, I understand I'm moving around a lot. Uh, when we look at this conversion, we're looking at the ALA content of one tablespoon of flaxseed oil, which is 6,000 milligrams. Now, realize when you hear 6,000 milligrams, it's not the DHA EPA actual omega-3. This is the ALA of 6,000 milligrams, 
And so therefore, each tablespoon of flaxseed oil provides 20% conversion of 6,000 milligrams, which is the of ALA, is 1,200 milligrams of EPA, and 4% conversion of the 6,000 milligrams of the ALA uh, converts into 240 milligrams of DHA. So what that does, when we add up the EPA and DHA, that gives us our total combined EPA DHA uh, amount of flaxseed oil, which comes out to 1,440 milligrams. So in review, I know I'm speaking a lot and trying to communicate, but one tablespoon of flaxseed oil is approximately 1,440 milligrams of DHA EPA combined. Okay, that's really important you understand that. Uh, this just shows you basically the short chain converting in the large chain and how it, how it changes in the intermediate molecules. And it just pr pretty much shows you that these cold water fish, these free range chicken and eggs, these grass fed beef, wild game goes directly into the EPA DHA because it is. So the conversion of the ALA from these foods, uh, the dark green vegetables, walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and all the other uh, ALAs have to convert. And by converting, we're taking a significant reduction of the actual total of omega-3s. And that's primarily what I wanted to share with people. But what another very important thing is that if we come back to this chart over here, this just shows you the importance of the uh, fish oil uh, and what it does. I mean, look at this. I mean, prevents diabetes, arthritis, and it's just so, so good at inflammation. Uh, many of my uh, listeners as well as my uh, subscribers have pain, inflammation, herniated discs. This is one of the best things that every person should be taking EPA and DHA in their fish oils. On the other hand, the other very important thing is when we look at this chart here and you see the omega-6s, uh, the studies show that when you have too much of omega-6 as compared to omega-3, you get much more inflammation, which affects the assimilation of the ALAs that's trying to convert to the DHA and EPA. So the bottom line is you need to limit your omega-3s. I'm sorry, you need to limit your omega-6s. Otherwise, you are limiting your actuality of omega-3s is trying to convert from your ALA into your DHA and EPAs. I hope uh, that this makes sense. I know it's a, a little complicated, but uh, realistically, what we're saying all in all is flaxseed oil is great. Uh, chia seeds and, and other, you know, uh, your, your certain nuts, your walnuts that are the plant-based uh, ALAs, they have to be converted and obviously, this is not your total omega-3. So realize uh, vegetarians and people who do not eat uh, meats or fishes or dairy, uh, realize that because what you're seeing on the total milligrams of ALA in omega-3s is not really your true omega-3. It has to be broken down and you're getting much less. So that means you need to eat more of those particular plant-based uh, omega-3s that you're taking in. I hope that you will uh, share this video. This is really important. Uh, I know it's re repetitive, but people still do not know and do not understand the importance of omega-3, one of the most important thing every human being needs to do on this planet. I ask you to share this on your social media. Check me out, Facebook Motivational Doc. Go ahead and leave your comments, your messages, your reviews for me. Leave your comments below here. There's lots of people who are gonna look at this. Uh, most important, I wish all of you and your families lots of good health. We'll catch up with you real soon. May God bless you. Bye-bye now.